Hi everybody, in today's video we are going to show you how to make this little fish and it is a video tutorial you can follow along start to finish. You can make your own fish. We will go through the materials that you need. We will also include the link to the paper pattern if you do want the paper pattern to follow along with. That's at Rabbitry and Yarns. Go to the pattern section up top and this is called our bubble fish pattern. So let's get started. You're going to need yarn to start out. We use the Wool of the Andes Worsted Weight in Aloe Heather. We use, for the mouth, the Wool of the Andes Worsted Weight in Blossom Heather. There's a bit of fluff that we use. We use 100% organic cotton stuffing. That's what we prefer. We have our stitch marker, our favorite scissors, the Westcott Titanium Scissors. We use those for all sorts of things. We have our J10 six millimeter hook. We have some safety eyes. These come in multiple different colors. And then of course we have our yarn bowl from Knit Picks. This is a bowl that you can tell it's been used. It's been scratched up. It's been uh, really just, it has a little ding right there. It's really been used as a yarn bowl and it's held up through the years. So this yarn bowl itself is somewhere over seven years old. Let's get started. So we're gonna take our hook and the first thing that we're gonna do is we tie a slip knot. This pattern uses the yarn, hold two strands together. Put that slip knot on your hook. You can use a magic ring if you want, but what I do is I chain one and I go through that chain and I will start single crocheting. You're gonna need eight single crochet in this round. But I have these little tails here and I'm gonna just pull them over and I'm gonna start crocheting over these tails. Two. Three. Four. Five. I'll pull that a little bit Put that tail back over. We need three more single crochets in here. Six, seven, eight. So we have eight single crochets in here. This single crochet stitch right here, that can be a bit difficult to put your hook under the entire stitch. Sometimes that's a bit tight. These metal hooks, I find that they're a little bit slippery. I prefer the Furls crochet hooks in size J for this because they have a bit more of a pointier tip and they actually just go through the yarn a bit easier. But for now, we're using the metal hook today. So we're gonna increase on each round. That means we're gonna put two single crochets in each of these stitches right here. So one, Two, move on to the next stitch, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, sometimes I have to take the paper off, it's a little bit easier, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So that's the end of our second round. We did our increases. One of the things you don't want is that big hole right there. So the reason why I crochet over these loops, it makes it a little bit easier to close up that hole to kind of make the center of that um, fish head closed up like you see. For round three, what we're going to do is we now need to do an increase. So two single crochet in the first stitch. 
and then one single crochet in the next. We're going to repeat that the entire round. That's going to bring us all the way up to 24 stitches. Right now we're at three stitches. So increase, single crochet. Now we're at six stitches. Increase, single crochet. So do that all the way around until you get to a total of 24 stitches. We completed round three. We have 24 stitches. This is where I put my stitch marker in right now. Rounds four, five, six, and seven are just single crocheting one single crochet in each stitch for all of those rounds. So each round you're going to crochet a total of 24 single crochets. So I put my stitch marker here that way I don't have to count and I can just start and go all the way through the end. So I already did that one. So one, two, three, and you keep going again for rounds four, five, six, and seven. They're all the same, just single crochet all the way around in each of these stitches. So let's fast forward and we'll get to the end of round seven now. We finished round seven. This is what we have so far. And there's just a few little tails inside. That's okay. We have our yarn still attached. We are gonna start the next round, which is round eight, and it is a decreasing round. So the way this round works is we're gonna decrease and this is how I like to do my decreases. Instead of um, crocheting over, I actually just take that last stitch and decrease it. This keeps, it, keeps everything really tight. It keeps the decrease more invisible. So we do a decrease and then we do a single crochet. So I'll show you that decrease again. So once through, once through, don't yarn over, just go straight through and decrease. So this round, one decrease, one single crochet. Do that all the way around until you get to your stitch marker. That reduces your stitches back down to number to 16 in this round. We completed that round and we're gonna do decreases the entire rest of the way, but make sure that as you're doing these decreases, you do put the eyes in and you can put them in where you want them, you can put them how far away you want them, and make sure you get the mouth in and the stuffing in there as well. So don't decrease it all the way because you're not gonna be able to get any of that in there. So what I do is I'm gonna put in, I don't need my stitch marker anymore, I'm going to put in, just start my decreases to make it go a little bit lower here, and then I'm gonna stop and I am going to put those eyes in, and I'm gonna put the mouth in, and I am going to put the stuffing in. So we're doing our, we're working our decreases in here. Everything is starting to get tightened up. Less and less stitches each with each decrease. So this is where I'm gonna stop. This is the space I have. I really don't wanna work in any smaller space. I am going to pick out some eyes. You can pick out whatever eyes you want. Just make sure to, these are safety eyes, but as always, you know, just because they're safety eyes, you still want to, anytime you're giving this to a child, you're gonna wanna monitor any toys with your child. So today, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these dark green eyes in there. So these eyes, you have all sorts of cool little choices with them and they are actually glittery. So you just build the eye, putting the piece on, choose where you want it on your fish, and then you place the back on. 
So then that's the same thing for the next eye. Just build your eye, put that iris in there. The iris is the colorful part of the eye. Put it in the same the same row. So don't don't put it up here, don't put it down below, unless that's what you want your fish to look like. Then that's entirely up to you. Or I suppose you could have a one-eyed fish or a three-eyed fish, it doesn't really matter. You could have lots of eyes on your fish. And you don't have to use safety eyes. You could use um, yarn and you can just put some eyes on with the yarn. So we have our eyes on here. Now it's time to put the mouth on. And I just use my crochet hook to do this. So I'm gonna pull it a little bit and I'm gonna take it out. You can put your fish mouth on as big or as small as you want. The way I do it is I kind of bend the yarn a little bit. I go slightly underneath the row that I have the, the actual eyes in. So I kind of pull it through a little bit and I go over two stitches and I pull it through again. I didn't cut it just yet because I want to make sure I have enough yarn to work with. So I can cut it now. Let's see. How are we doing with spacing? So if you notice your fish looks like this, this mouth is a little bit too close to that eye. You can just take one stitch out right on the side there and you can move it over a little bit. This will make the mouth on this particular fish just a teeny bit smaller. That's okay. We're not worried about that. Okay, so we'll take a look. That's more centered. And that's something that you do want to check with your animals when you make them. Unless you want your fish to have like a side smile or something like that. Maybe it's like smiling very slyly. That might work. So we're just going to secure this, these little, this little fish mouth. We are going to tie it. Sometimes using a smaller crochet hook is helpful. But I just use the two pieces of the yarn and I gently tie them together. You don't want to tie this too tight because the lips disappear on the, the, the fish mouth disappears. So you can still see it just a teeny little bit. Now we put our hook back into our loops and we are gonna put stuffing in it. So how firmly you stuff your fish is entirely up to you. I don't like an entirely, I'll take that hook back off because that's being loud, but I don't like an entirely super stuffed, firm fish, but it needs to be able to, over time, hold its shape. If you have kids playing with these little fish, you don't want them um, the fish losing its shape and one thing you have to remember is any stuffing will compress over time So this particular stuffing is hundred percent organic cotton stuffing. That's what I recommend. We definitely can choose that sort of stuffing to help Reduce the amount of plastics. In fact, the only plastics on this are the safety eyes and again, you don't even have to use them you can use yarn and you can just um, sew or crochet the yarn on, the eyes on using the yarn. So you can make this project 100% plastic free. You don't have to use a plastic stitch marker. You can use scissors that don't have plastic on them. There's a lot of different options to make this an even more um, friendly pattern. Okay, so that's about as firm as I want this. Keep decreasing all the way and then simply tie off your center. So we're going to do a couple more decreases here and again every time we do a decrease that's one less stitch that's around. You can also if you want if you get to a point where it just becomes too fiddly that you're working with it you can just 
loop the yarn through the rest of the stitches and tighten it up, tie it off. Sometimes, very rarely I do that, but more than likely I'll actually add these additional um, decreases in here to close off a project like this. So we're almost done. We actually have one, two, three, four. We have five stitches total left. And I think this is going to be one of my last decreases because as you can see, the center hole that we're working through becomes very small. So now we just snip the yarn and we're gonna tie this off. One thing I will do just to make sure it is tight when I use this particular method is I will go through one of the additional stitches and pull it through. So tying in ends is something that there's a couple different ways to do it. The way I prefer is in this particular project where I've got two strands of yarn I'm working with, I'm going to loop one through, I'm going to tie it, then since this is the bottom side of the fish, I will just go someplace a little bit further away. I'm going to hook this yarn, both pieces of this yarn, pull it through, and where I've pulled it through that's where I'm going to cut this, because these that yarn is going to be hidden inside underneath the fish. Now it's time to put the fins on the side of the fish. You can put the fins as far forward or as far back as you want. You can put the fins as high up or as low as you want. One of the things I like to do is to make sure that when I do put the fins on, I'm putting them on evenly. So I'm putting them about the same distance from each eye and I'm putting them on about the same distance from the top and the bottom. So we're going to tie a slip knot into the yarn to do the fins here. And when I take a look at this, I'll start on this little eye here. And I'm going to go, so this one is right here, the eye. I'm going to go underneath and I'm going to count one, two, about three. I'll go three over from the eye. And I have my slip knot on my hook. I've punctured it through. Oops, I just lost that. Let's try that again. Slip knot is on the hook. We're going to use insert our hook through where we want this to be joined on. And I'm just going to slip stitch that on. Don't worry about these. We will be able to uh, weave those in later. So next thing I have, I'm secure. I need to put a single crochet in. And this first single crochet can always be a little bit finicky, depending on how tight things are. And right now I have this yarn pretty tight. So if I just use my fingers, a little trick is just being able to do that gets it through. Now we're going to put in a half double crochet. These fins are fast to make. Double crochet, half double crochet. This is all in that same stitch. And single crochet. Then we're gonna slip stitch to get it on there. Keep that little fin and flipper secure. Cut the yarn. And you are going to want to secure the pieces of yarn and use that same, what I like to do is use that same little trick I showed you where you take your hook, you insert it further away, grab onto the yarn, pull it through. I pulled a different piece of yarn through. So you do end up with a, quite a bit of uh, pieces of yarn inside your fish, but that's okay. So anything sticking out at this point, I just clip off. So we're going to do that on the same side. So we make sure that's secure. We're going to reach in a little bit further away. And sometimes on these shorter 
bits of yarn, the whole thing just gets hidden inside. So one flipper is done. You repeat that on the other side. We are going to make the tail now. Start out with a slip knot. So one of the things you can do is you can go, and this is what I did, but you can kind of go and use your hook to pull up a row of all of these different pieces of yarn that you're going to be working in. So you look at the center of the face and then you pull, you kind of just pull up and that gives you a line to follow. Some might be just a little bit off because this was crocheted in the round, but that's just a tip. So typically one of the pieces of advice I have is you can start at the middle and go one, two, three down. So it's kind of in line with those in the back and those fins. You're going to slip stitch to join this on. So you're going to have, you're going to end up with one, one loop-de-loop -loop on that hook. And now all in that very same stitch do the following. So you're going to single crochet. And you're going to half double crochet. Sometimes these little tail bits of yarn can get in the way. Double crochet. Now you're going to triple crochet. This is a little tight in here. Just take your time. Put two chains in, and in that second chain from the hook, slip stitch. Now you're going to triple crochet in this next piece, that next stitch above. And it might not be perfect. Like this one you can see there's two to choose from. Well, we're going to take a look where the eyes are. We're going to choose this one. So because you, this is crocheted in the round, you know, it might be just a little bit above, a little bit to the side, the stitch that you need to work in. But now you put a double crochet in, a half double crochet. The yarn is traveling around here. Single crochet. And then you're going to slip stitch. So, right in there. Make sure you pick up and get all of them in there. So in the stitch above, slip stitch. So again, you might kind of aim, look between the eyes. We're traveling up the back of the fish now. So in the row above that, we're going to go another row above. We're going to do this one just a little bit over. We're going to slip stitch in there. So the next one row above again, we're going to add that slip stitch in there. But we're going to keep working in that very same stitch. We are going to single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, and single crochet all in this stitch. That means here's our single. Here's our half double. Here is our double. Half double. We're working our way back down to smaller stitches. Single. Excellent. So this little fin is done. Moving on up, choose the next stitch up, slip stitch in that. And you're just going to keep repeating this process all the way till you have three of these. So that means we need to go and we need to do a single crochet. We need to do a half double crochet a double crochet, and then work your way back down, a half double crochet, 
and then a single crochet. So do that as well. Keep moving up to the last fin. Sometimes that single, like I said, it can be pretty, a little tough. Half double. Double. Half double, back down all the way to the single and then you're gonna slip stitch it up. We're running out of yarn, so just in time to finish this up. And you can get all those ends tied in. This is a little bit of a tight area. That's okay. I only want one of these strings because I'm going to try and tie it up. Came off my hook. There we go. Different piece of yarn came through, that's okay. So then we're gonna get this yarn hidden. You don't wanna see the ends of the yarn poking out from the fish. And when you're doing this, try not to grab the stuffing. That's what I just did, I grabbed a bit of stuffing. We don't wanna pull the stuffing out of the fish, we want the stuffing to stay in the fish. So make sure this bottom part is done as well. So I want that much more hidden. You can use the end of your crochet hook too. Kind of stuff it in. So there you are. There is your adorable little fish. <laughs>